Hey guys, I'm back with another Sony Vegas um, tutorial, and today we're showing you how to do um, the easiest way to do the RGB split. So like the actually the easiest way of saving YouTube, or yeah, because all the other people try and duplicate the tracks, and then slightly move, move them apart and just add some red and blue color to it. First of all, that's that takes too long. It's hard to do, and you know there's just the way easier way to do it. So what you want to do is first go to File, go to Properties, and then turn Stereoscopic 3D Mode to Anaglyphic Red for Cyan. You can also do Amber, Blue, or Green or Magenta. I'm going to do Red and Cyan. So you just leave that all supply it. It's okay. And now what you want to do is go to Stereoscopic 3D Adjust, bring the default down to your clip, and then yeah. Now you may notice that everything may get a little bit desaturated. If you want to resaturate it, just go to saturation adjust and then boost midtones or whatever. But I kind of like it desaturated. So now, as you can see, it won't really do anything. So what you want to do is, for some, I'm just going to do a little example here. Just go to the shot. Just find it. Okay. Okay, right up. Look, let's start the RGB split right around here. So what you're going to do is go to the trap effects, and then you'll see a little slider here. It says stereoscopic 3D adjust. This is what will control the three, the RGB split. See, it's a little slider. It's way easier than making a bunch of tracks and taking 10 minutes. So let's just set that to zero. Now let's click on this button here to animate it. I just okay. Click this so your cursor here will be synced up with the video. So let's go. Turn and turn. Let's go backwards like that. So let's start it around here. So just set it up a bit. You know, go over. Maybe turn down a bit. A little bit more. And add about the shot right about here. And turn it down all the way down to zero. So I'll see what this looks like. Yeah. Good job, team. Wait, I forgot to set it down to zero. Did you see it? Oopsie, too early. Okay, that was kind of laggy. Dynamic round preview, do your business. Oh, the fudge balls. Still in Vegas. Okay, whatever. So as you can see, that's the easiest way to do an RGB split. There, see? It's all clean, you, you keep one track, and yeah, it's it's you got, it's easier to animate and everything. So hope this helped you enjoyed this, and um, yeah, so just give this link to your friends if you want to learn how to do an RGB split. Oh yeah, and by the way, I think this will only work in, so, in Vegas Pro 11, because that's the only Vegas Pro with stereoscopic 3 So. The option, whatever. So yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video, and um, 